Roy, month on from qualification, what have you been thinking during that time and is the excitement starting to build for you? I think the excitement was in the last two games really, they were unbelievably exciting and I think it was a great way to end our qualifying campaign, to go through it unbeaten, to, to play the two games at Wembley with such incredible support from the fans and to get the results we wanted. I think that was an incredible shot of excitement for me. And of course now I think it's more a question of having calmed down, if you like, after the experiences and starting to think ahead and starting to think about our preparation. And these two games coming up, they're two of only three games we have before I have to select a squad. So it's really been quite important to our thinking, if you like, in regard to this squad we've put together this time. Um, it must be nice not having the pressure of playoffs or competitive games for 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 the first time in a while um, and also now you can start planning for Brazil. Yeah that was brought home to me uh, the Arsenal game on uh, last last Saturday Arsenal against Liverpool I sat next to Didier Deschamps who I've known for quite a long time and I remember thinking at the time I I don't relish your situation having to go to the Ukraine and then play the Ukraine again and to have to beat them to qualify I was I went home thinking, thank goodness we did it by finishing first in the group. And now we get these two very attractive fixtures, I think. I mean, Chile, and who finished third in the South American group, and Germany, one of the best teams in the world. To have a chance to play them at Wembley was a, a great opportunity for us in terms of our preparation. Um, coming into this get-together, you've named your squad. Um, a few new faces in there, or, or returning faces. Jay Rodriguez... He's one of them, plus Henderson and Lalana are back in. Just to talk us through the, the reasoning behind those. Lalana and Henderson are there quite simply on their performances recently. I mean, uh, when I say recently, I mean over the last six or seven months or so. I mean, Jordan was with us in the Euros, which is 18 months ago. And Adam, I think, was with us for one of the autumn games, although he didn't take any part on the field. Um, that will probably be almost a year ago. So. I think both of them have shown with their performances that they've, um, I won't say kicked on, that would be unfair, but that they're playing very, very well and if anything their games are even stronger now than it was then when we selected them last time and it's time for them to get a chance to show that they deserve a place in our group and with Jay Rodriguez I see in him a, a similar style of player to Danny Welbeck. Uh, we don't have such a lot of players like that in our squad to select from, we have more wingers we have more wide midfield players who can play in the wide midfield area, but we don't have so many wide forwards. So Jay's done very well for Southampton, has played well, and I think he deserves a chance to show what he can do during these ten days when we're together, or nine days as it is. Uh, Chile will be the first up for you, South American opposition. What do you think they'll offer at Wembley? They're a very good team. I think what they'll offer is a major surprise to people who don't know them and who don't know a lot about South American football. I mean, Germany won't surprise anyone in the same way that Spain don't or France don't or Italy don't because we see their players all the time. Whereas Chile, it's a South American country. We don't follow the South American qualifiers. We don't follow their individuals to the same extent unless they happen to play in the Premier League. But um, we've looked at them, we've studied them because we obviously need to do that before the game and we've been unbelievably impressed by Chile. We think they were very, very good time.